Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see this is MacBook Air 2020 M1 chip, 13 inch phone. And the screen has completely gone, so we're going to replace it. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to power down by holding the power button. It's completely shut down. And if charger is connected, you must need to replace it. By the way, I go replacement with the replacement toolkit as well, as you can see. So you're not going to be confused because you know, Apple MacBook, either the Pro or Air, they always use all different types of screws, especially T5, T4, T3, 2.1 and 0 0.8. All of them is very close to each other and sometimes even I myself get confused. Okay, you always need to keep switching the screwdriver and if you don't use the right tools, you might gonna break down the screws or the screwdriver and end up with failure. So first of all, I'm gonna use those gloves, which is really good. And it's not gonna make any sort of static damage. Also, they supplied some sort of tutorial manual with the illustration on it. So you're not gonna make any mistake. You can get some help from there. This is really handy. By the way, if you'd like to get one of the replacement, you can check. The product link would be in the description. By the way, this is not any sponsored video anyway. So first, I'm going to open up this packaging and see if this is the right model. This is really important. When you buy, make sure you double check. And it seems it's quite well packaged. So carefully remove it. And especially the LCD connectors are really weak and sensitive so make sure when you handle it you handle it carefully so at this point i'm going to take p5 pantalo screwdriver which is supplied with the replacement screen and we're going to remove all the five screws one two three four five six yeah total six screws two of them are longer which goes to the actual hinges and this is 6.2 mm and four of them 3.4 mm which goes around the backboard. Once all the screws removed, what are you gonna do? We can use any sort of suction cup to make it simple and easy, or we can just use the spudger tool to pull the back cover off, okay? So without struggling, you can see it came off completely. Now, at this point, what do you need to do? First things, that we need to disconnect the battery. Before you touch any other component, always safety first. So remove the battery connector and you are good to go. All right, so at this point, what are you gonna do? We're gonna disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna connector, display connector, and also you're gonna remove all the screws from the actual bracket, which one keep those connector into the place. And make sure when you disconnect it, you put it in the right place, keep it organized so you're not gonna be confused okay and if you ask me what is the most difficult part for this replacement i would say removing the wi-fi antenna this is the one it comes with such a long bar and to pull this out is not easy it takes a little bit of time just check the video carefully and you will be able to do that this antenna is secure with four screws for this model so make sure you keep those organized as well and that disconnect the LCD connector, take out all the screws, and that would be easier. And at the last, we're going to remove the six screws from the hinges. Those are quite big, and it's really stiff, so make sure you use the right tool that it provides, and get things sorted.
So finally, we're going to give it a try and see. So what happened is when you press the power button, it might not turn on. Don't get surprised. What you should do, just connect your charger and press the power button. That should turn on. It might take a few seconds. OK, so if you see it doesn't respond anything, just quietly wait and everything should be fine. So I pressed the power button a couple of times, didn't turn on. So let's connect Type-C connector and wait. That should work. As you can see, there is the Apple logo and I don't see any sort of dead pixel or anything. The screen is absolutely fine and I'm happy with it. So let me know how did you like this video and if still if you do have any question regarding this replacement, feel free to leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.